all the only way now better than when I started out. Amen? Amen. And thanks be unto God. I'm just grateful to be here and certainly to be favored. And uh, certainly you were doubly blessed with uh, the genius, the senior genius, and the junior genius. <laughs> They're both geniuses. Amen. And thank God. And I can see the vitality. Amen. And the vigor. And the aliveness in the congregation. I can see the young waver has given the, the, the old the, the pastor a little a little offense. Yeah. <laughs> to the church. Incentive to the church. Amen? Amen. You never want to be a deadbeat in the church. Amen. You want to give an incentive. Amen. Amen. Praise be unto God. I've just got to call the name. She's so modest. And sometimes I have to chase her down in the gym to even get it close enough to speak to her. We're glad to see you, Sister Norma. We miss you. Amen. Norma, ain't that normal? Yes, yes, and uh, we are praying to get your pastor back <laughs> into the uh, gym. Uh, <laughs> I told him when he got his foot right, I'm ready to pick him up. <laughs> Thanks be unto God's word. Our uh, heads in prayer, we thank you, O oh God, for the glory. We've already felt of your presence in this place. We praise you for your glory and your shekinah that has showered and shed itself abroad in the heart of the, the worshipers today who have come, oh God, to feel your presence, feel your mighty power in their lives, to feel the quickening of your Holy Ghost, your Holy Spirit. And now we pray, oh God, that we go forth that we will follow where you lead and we'll obey your every word and your every impulse that, oh God, beats upon our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 And I understand that your uh, theme for uh, the year has to do with prayer. And uh, that the uh, prayer that Jesus prayed in the 17th chapter of the uh, Gospel of John is, is your, in a sense, your, man, your mantra, your, your motto, your mandate. Amen. And that is the high priestly prayer, what they call the upper room prayer, that grew out of the upper room discourse after Jesus had washed those dirty feet. That's a sermon right there. But I'm not going to stop right there. As, 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 as he's up in the upper room and he, after he's finished symbolically washing those dirty feet, he lifts his eyes and lifts his head, his soul to heaven, and said, Father, amen. I, I thank you, amen. Amen. Let me make sure I got it as you got it on the script here. You got it printed out on your bulletin so that when you go home, you can take it home. But you don't leave it here in the pew. Amen. You got it here. Father, the hour has come that your son may glorify you. In other words, the King James says, glorify your son. The hour has come, the divine plan of redemption, the plan of salvation, the, the will that you had for my life, the, the time, the, 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 not just the chronological time, yes, the chronological time, but the divine time has come when I must lay, my, lay down my life for a sin cursed world. Glorify, glorify your self and your son. Come on, come on. 
in that petition he makes. It's rather than intercessory prayer. I, I know that I got some uh, etymological people here this morning that wordsmith. I'm not the only one in the house. Amen. Even you said this and that, this and taint, is you still a wordsmith. <laughs> because you got the genius to create your own language. I don't think you can hear me today. Oh, you ain't speak a dialect. Thank God. God gave you the genius. When they took the tongue from you, you created another tongue that you could speak to one another, that you could understand one another. So I never, in a sense, get caught up in the grammar. Amen. And in the uh, narrative, in the editorializing that characterizes our day because some of the greatest folk ever lived couldn't write their name on paper. But they knew the wisdom of God. They knew the word of God. They knew the will of God. And I always, I, I never try to, in a sense, downplay my language because I had a thick southern accent when I first came. They wanted to know what language is that you speak. I told them the, the language that God gave me when they took my, when you took my language away from me. The language God gave me. When you took your my language that God gave me, amen? The divine plan is asking God to give him the to sustain the power to sustain him in the cross that is that is set before him. The task that is before him. Amen. He said, I have finished in a way the work that you have given unto me. Great God Almighty. Think about where come, where you started from. Deacon Knight, where you started from. God taking your place you never dreamed in your life. God will lift you to heights you never thought that God would take you to. I'm thinking about it, I was coming here where God brought me from. The work that you've given me to do. I never dreamed I would be a pastor in New York City for 46 years. Amen. Never dreamed that I would walk, amen, side by side with Martin. Never dreamed, never dreamed, never dreamed, never dreamed that God would do in my life, great God Almighty, the work that he has set out for me to do. Amen. That's why I love that song, He Leadeth Me, O oh Blessed Thought. Oh, heavenly songs of heavenly rock, wherever I do, wherever I be. Tis through children that God needs me. Amen. Amen. Can you think about where you started? How many of you being installed this morning? Amen. And you moved up through the ranks. Thank God. Am I right? Amen. And some people scared to be involved in the ministry of the church. Don't be scared to be involved in the ministry of the church. Be glad to be involved in the ministry of the church because God is getting right to elevate you. Hello, can you hear what I'm saying? God is getting ready to elevate you. God is getting ready to enlighten you. God is getting ready to learn you something. Hello, I know I, I, I said something that some people said it's not that dramatic, but grandma never said, I'm going to teach you a lesson. She said, I'm going to learn you something. And when she said, I'm going to learn you something, she meant that when she finished with you, she had to tell you over and over again, you will have gotten it by the time she finished. I'm going to learn you something. Amen. Amen. Am I right? Thanks be unto God. Finish the work that you sent to my hand that glorify the Son. Amen. That's what we ought to do in everything we do as an officer in the church. You ought to be great, great glory to God. Amen. Amen. You don't want to bring dishonor. Hello. No, no, no. But I know we fall down, but thank God if you fall down, get back up again. Don't keep marching, don't keep trucking. Don't keep struggling and don't keep striving. Keep striving, amen. Don't give up on yourself, no. Amen, that's why I like that song, Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so little ones to him belong, they are weak. And I like that, yes, yes. Jesus loved me because sometimes you can give up on yourself. 
I mean, you ever given up on yourself for daily life? I, mean, I have come so close so many times giving up on myself that I'm so far down, I feel a tap on my shoulder. Tell me, what are you doing down here? You need to get up, straighten up your back, straighten up your knees, lift up your head, and know where your help come from. Don't let your troubles get you down. When troubles come your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Sister Weaver, you know, when I first heard, Deacon Weaver, when I first heard that, I thought it was, y'all excuse me for being honest. Can you let me be honest? I heard it in Hampton. I thought it was the most ignorant song I ever heard in my life. See, because I looked at it from the intellectual point of view, I didn't hear it from the spiritual. But when the devil got me over a barrel, and I was in the pulpit on Sunday morning, and I'm to bring the word of God to the people of God, I'm just as dead as a cemetery. And I heard the, the song of that, the words of that song, don't let your troubles get you down. When trouble comes your way, hold your head up high and say, and I said to the organist, play that song. And the more he played, the more the Holy Ghost came into me. And they almost had to come up there and sit me down in the pool here. When the, when the Holy Ghost turned me loose. Amen. So he had a work that God had set for him to do. But that's the first part of that. Uh, that, 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 that chapter there's three parts to it first the part where he asked the father to glorify the son the second where he prays for verses 6 through 19 where he prays for the believers and then 19 thereafter where he prays you got it on your program here as a matter of fact I think you even got it Paragraph according to the way it is where he prays one through yeah the first paragraph one through eight where he prays for himself then one through yeah nineteen where he prays for the disciple and then twenty thereafter where he prays for those who believe on him because of their word amen and so he the second thing he prays for he prays for his disciples. He prays that thou will keep them from the evil one. Hallelujah. Anyhow, you know the worst person you got to look out for in your life is yourself. If you can get yourself out the way and let God have his way and let him have access to the inner depths of your soul. Yes, the heart has not been reached. Nor has it into the hearts of men what the law has in store for those who trust in him. Yes. Amen. He prayed for the protection, amen, of the believer. I have keep them from the evil one. Amen. Because the devil is busy, huh? Uh -huh. Amen. Now some folk plan to come to church this morning, but the devil was busy. And they ended up staying in the Bedside Baptist Church. <laughs> and the devil was working on some of you this morning when you decide whether you're going to bring the Lord his tithe or not. Every time you tithe, the devil is going to be working on you. Whether you need this or not, whether you need, whether you need to do this or not, whether you need to do that or not, the devil is busy all the time. You should see that my God is working on me. Working all the time. And I found out not only is God working all the time, the devil is working all the time. Amen? Amen. 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 I'm glad he doesn't see all you do. And he doesn't hear all you say. Because God puts a covering over the believer. Amen? The protection by me. I don't. Even he protects the cell man. Did you know that? Because it had not been the Lord on your side, on my side. Before we came to Christ, we wouldn't be here today. But somebody looked out. Amen. 
I think y'all think that some somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad you prayed for me. Mama prayed for me. How many of you ever thank God for Mama's prayer? Yeah. Amen. For Daddy's prayer. Many of us don't mention too much about Daddy, but I got to say this about Daddy because I'm a fanatical daddy. Yeah. Amen. I realized my daddy had put a roof over our head and shoes on my feet. Amen. And, and the, yes, and the white man's foot off our neck because we had our own. I didn't, I didn't realize what he had done until I had my own youngins. I had my own children. And I went back to him and I think I told him, sister, I told him, Daddy, I thank you. I was a pastor. I thank you for suffering what you suffered. The indignities that you suffered to provide for us. And I didn't know what you had done until I had to do it myself. And he said to me, boy, he I was a pastor calling me boy. And he said, boy, you finally have learned something. <laughs> but thank God, amen, your father prayed for you, amen. And how many of you have ever thanked God for your, your, not only your mother's prayer, but your father's prayer? Not only that, but some old sister, some old brother, throw your way out there. Out there alone, abandoned by yourself like a little chicken on the barnyard. But they will see you and they will smile at you and they will pat you on your back and give you an encouraging word and say, Boy, a girl, one day you're going to be somebody. Yeah. They were praying for your future. Amen. 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 I guess Doc Weaver knew I was coming. Well, he didn't put no hand mic up here to this pool. <laughs> yeah, give me that hand mic because it's getting mighty tight up here. <laughs> Amen. Don't worry, I'm almost through. Amen. I, I didn't watch my clock in the beginning. But I needed to have watched it because, Amen, I, I believe a sermon should be immortal. Without being eternal. Oh, Amen. 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 And so he prays for their protection, for our protection. And I'm just glad, Dr. Weaver, that God protects us. Yes. I'm thankful. I don't know whether you think of it or not. But sometime at night I go to bed at night, I'm just thinking how he protected me over the busy highways of life. Not only how he protected me. But how he protected, amen, those on the, on the highway right along the other side. And that we didn't have any accidents. We didn't, have, we didn't run into each other. We didn't collide with each other. His divine protection. And sometimes if you don't watch out, you can slip. I, I don't know about you, but I've slipped. Have you ever slipped? Let me see the hands of y'all honest enough to say, sometime in your life you slipped. But somebody caught me. Oh, it's divine protection to protect you from hurt, harm, and danger. Protect you from the evil one. Not God protected Job. God said to Job, said to the devil, said you can put your hands on him, but you can't have his soul. And I'm grateful that he, 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 he protects your soul. How many of y'all know he protects your soul? He keeps my soul for every time. My heavenly Father watches over me. Then the last thing I want to say, not only does he pray that we would bring glory to his name, and one of your God is to bring glory not just to Bethesda or just to Dr. Weaver or young, young Weaver, but bring glory to his name. Amen. Because the world is in darkness today. How sad it looks across the nation and across the world to see the, the man in the in the president's house who represent the the, the 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 best of the wild wild west when every man was a law unto himself there was no law in the west that anybody had to abide or live by 
Every man was going to, whoever was the man who was the best shot shooter was the lawyer in the, lawyer in the town, or the sheriff in the town. We live in the So our nation, amen. We need to pray for our nation. Am I right? Because our future is at stake. The destiny of our world is at stake. Yes, I pray for him to succeed, but I pray that they soon get him out of there. I pray that we are people of yes, a conscience who never voted in our lives, who said that my vote don't count. Now you realize that every vote counts. Everybody counts. Am I right? Not just black lives count, but everybody counts. Then he not only prayed for their protection from the evil one, but verse 17 says, sanctify them through thy truth. For thy word is truth. And I used to be, maybe we used to fight against the sanctified church. Yeah. Amen. But every church ought to be sanctified. Yeah. What does it mean to be sanctified? I'm not going to give you any test here on this deacon book because I know y'all can tell me. To be sanctified because to be a deacon is deacon is have to teach. Is that right? Yes, Amen. You're going to be able to teach what sanctification is all about. Sanctification to be set apart. Not just in the church, but set apart by the will and the power and the power of God for divine work. Amen. Amen. Be sanctified as to be baptized, hallelujah, for the fire and the Holy Ghost. Because he's real. Yes, he is real. Yeah. To me, yes, he is. Oh, yeah. He gives us victory. So many people die. But I don't know about you, but I can't live without it. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. So he says, sanctify them. In other words, baptize them with the fire and the Holy Ghost. Baptize, not just death so of let the Holy Ghost come on me, Grant, God me. Let the Holy Ghost come in me. Hallelujah. Let, let it get the meanness out of me. Let it get the, the world out of me. Let it get the selfishness out of me. Come on. Let it get the dirtiness out of me. All of us got some dirt in us. But can't nobody get that dirt out of us but the power of the Holy Ghost in me. your heart. Let him baptize your soul. I'm just like Peter when she got ready to wash. Peter, see, Peter said, not only my feet, but that wash me all over. Amen. That's what we all be saying today. That's a powerful work because you can work together as one as God the Father, Jesus the Son, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, and the Teacher, the, the Keeper. They're all in one. Working for the glory of God. Working for the kingdom of God. Working for the blessing of God. Working for the glory of God. Working for the joy of God. Yes, I tell you, when you work for the Lord, He gives the joy. He gives the joy. He gives the joy. Unspeakable. He prayed for us. I hear him telling people, Son of God, and I'm through now. Son of God, the Satan desires. Don't get too sure of yourself. No, 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 no. Because I got reassured myself. This is my testimony. But the devil came in my life like a whirlwind. As a pastor, and I had to say, Lord, keep me day by day. God, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Stay out near my temptation. 
You don't get me this morning. Loses its power when thou art not. So we need the anointing. Hallelujah. You see anointing? Fall on me. Anointing. Fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. I pray these words will find you well. God bless you. Yeah. Heaven bless you.